Yo, 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 it's the Black and Goku back with uh, Final Fantasy VII. This is your host for The Black King Plays Final Fantasy VII, episode 40. I tried to say episode 40 in the last episode, obviously, it didn't pick me up. And obviously, a few things to mention before we start this. Number one, well, oh, you did miss, however, in the, it, I didn't even bother record it because I didn't have a chance to. Didn't even hit me, but uh, yeah, for some reason my controls were messing up, and my characters were going uh, without me for some reason or another, and I didn't even, I had to kill off some enemies, and I didn't even mean to before I could do what I needed to do, but it didn't matter anyway. So I went ahead and got them again, and you know, but they don't matter more, most anyway, so, and uh, my experiment has failed, I was turning off the camera, I thought, well, it'd be best anyway. Uh, first, and I thought, well, maybe to exp I thought about it even more. It was like, well, maybe it'll it'll uh, improve on the sound. Did not whatsoever. So yeah, and um, what was I trying to say? Outwards. Did uh, yeah. So you know, and. And there was something else I was going to say. I forgot what it was. But uh, I know this other thing I want to talk about. Okay, like, alright. Number one. We got, you know how you got scammers and people out there that are telemarketers that are scammers and all that? Well, number one, they was talking about, I was watching this video. Right, where they was talking about, what was it? Um, oh, lordy. Well, something about who has landline. There are still offices out there that have landlines, believe it or not. So, you know, uh, the only reason that they even have cell phones is for other use. Um, there's a lot of, like, office-type buildings. They have landlines. No one has ever really truly given up on landlines except, and I mean, except for at home. A lot of old people still have landlines because they don't believe in the, uh, the old cell phones. Um, and so, because I was watching as well as I noticed that there was talking about just comments. That's where I found out about, uh, about the whole who, who the hell has still has landlines. Well, Buster, you're an idiot. And this, even though it was two months old, I mean, I didn't even know about it till pff, I think it was yesterday or whatever. And um, so, anyway. They, another one commented about, what was it, about how, you know, getting a cell phone and blocking the number. The problem is, though, right, is that, um, you know, you can't block unknown numbers. And even if you could block them, let's just say you did block their number. So what? They'll find another way to contact you even on a cell phone it wouldn't matter if you did have a cell phone it don't really stop them from calling I've had numerous telemarketers scammers even people who are people who have to do with what I supposedly owe money to or something even things I actually do owe money to call me and harass me and I'll tell you it don't matter even if you change your damn number or even if you got a cell phone even if I could block them, and I wound up actually blocking numbers uh, that belong to people that I know. Actually, one person in general, but let's just get on with it. Um, you know, and it was coming under that number, so I wound up, and I didn't even hardly recognize it. I was not paying attention. So, and I had to even come up under my number or something. I don't even, you know, I get this all the time. So, it don't matter don't really matter and before I conclude this I want to tell you I, I like Steve Harvey I ain't got no love no sympathy for nobody who's going to come out there I don't give a damn where you are in the whole damn world no disrespect to you for people that have jobs but I ain't got no respect and no sympathy for anybody who's got to have the job of harassing people because, you know, I don't give a damn if you are doing your damn job. That's ridiculous. And, uh, 
I, you know, and, and there's been many other com uh, companies that are supposedly, and they ain't even legit, you know. What they what they said was in the video because I was watching this about the telemarketing scammers or whatever in Canada, and it's not just Canada. America has this problem too. I don't know if a lot of people talk about it, but I know every once in a while they say something. But anyway, and I apologize again about the uh, thing cutting in and out. I don't know what to do about that. So anyway, something about the reason why they they don't give away numbers. Because it would take away from their business. First of all, okay, and and they're falsely calling their and they don't give out their names. That's not a legit business. A legit business would give out their real number. Number one, actually, it doesn't matter which subject does, but it always, always, and it does not take away from the business. I don't know how many companies out there. I mean, in, in total, but I know there's plenty of them out there, even in New York. They're legit companies that actually have phone numbers, and every time they give up one or you you know that number, and you're getting business. It ain't taken away from the damn business. Plus, the people that they even know their names, it ain't taken away from the damn business. The lying little scumbag. I don't care if you are from a damn different country, man. I mean, I guess I'd feel sorry for the sucker who who would have to sit there and well, I mean, um, you know, person the person who would. Actually, have to. Will you not do this right now? Anyway, no. Anyway. Oh meow, meow, meow. You know, I feel sorry for the person who actually has to get the job, but not the people that are in charge. And there's something about well, you don't have to answer them. And the way they're getting real cocky with you. Well, number one, that ain't a legit company. Number two. You don't, they don't get cocky with the customers. You don't get cocky with customers. I mean, either you have a business, I mean, it's like either you want business or you don't. Simple as that. Otherwise, get the hell out of it. The hell you're doing in business, all you want to do is argue with somebody. I mean, okay, the customers could be a little nicer, but what can you expect when you agitate the piss out of somebody, you know, when you, when you, when you get that way about somebody? That's just dumb. It's utter ridiculousness, and it makes me sick to death to know that, that people still exist like that. Even, in, well, maybe not to death, but a little exaggeration, but you get the idea. You know, that people exist, because, I mean, I care. And, you know, the damn thing of it is, and the, and the woman in charge, they're supposed to be in the CRTT, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, she's real proud of her product. Okay, this is number one. You, this ain't no damn video game. Like it is in a clan, a squad. It's all the same. You know, it ain't. It ain't the same. Okay, you can be proud of it all you want to, because even though it's half-assed, excuse my language, but you know, if you have like like halfway, you cannot be that proud of something that's real. It's not doing a damn thing. Because they're calling people on the do not call list, and and it's annoying, and I can understand it. I'm more on the sympathy side, and I feel more for the customers than I do for the people having to call these people and harass them. Anyway, now, this is episode 40. Sorry I had to run on like that, but I just wanted to get that point across there. Okay. Hmm? Now, this is something I never thought anyone would ever claim up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shimmer. You better get down before you get involved. Shimmer, the hell those circus is doing here? Uh, I think you forgot to take out the G there because I thought you was. But never mind. But I'm not. I'm not trying to be racist. I'm just talking about because of the way you were talking before. But anyway, we have done now. I mean, you know. Anyway, there's. <clears throat> the Shinra. It appears you have a problem with Shinra do. After all, you climbed up here. Well, no crap. Anyway, why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? Huh? Something's up there. See what I mean? See? See? Anyway. The reactor and the condor. 
I can see you are very perceptive. Yes, it's, it is a reactor and a condor. It seems Shinra does not like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Damn, that's one big bird. But why they... That's what she said. <laughs> okay, enough of that, what she said. I mean, I know, I know, but I, I try not to wear it out. You know, that's, you know, whatever. Anyway, but why are they always trying to get rid of it with, with weapons? It is not very logical. It seems there's some type of special material in the reactor above us. I hope you can hear me, and I hope it's not breaking up. If it is, I'll break its butt. Anyway, and because the condors came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The condors are now warming up, warming their eggs, which hatch only once a f every few years. We would like to protect the condors from being harmed. New lives. Oh, dude. Oh, protect them from Shinra. There you go, Barry. So, to protect the eggs, you, are you going to protect the reactor? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we have hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with the contribution or by fighting alongside of us. What do you think? You want to join us in our fight? Cloud has nothing to say. What's there to think about? You gotta do it. You decide what we are going to do. All right. Hey, we'll come to the rescue. I got it. Let me lend a hand too. And yes, yes. I've also told the store owners about you, so they should sell sell you various items. And feel free to use our bids. Okay, now we can use the bids. I'm gonna definitely take advantage of that. I need the rest because I want to save on my tent. Last it all. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Just want to make sure that the one key code ain't on. Um... Oh, let's get some wood. We'll get some rest. I think it's about like. Three times, as I've mentioned in the LP, I did not remember that at this point, just for the record. Just for the record, I did not rec mention it, because I didn't remember to tell you now. But, uh, I think it takes about, like, three in total, which means you have to come down there in the game in order to get this, this material. So, let's go ahead and, uh... If I can just get on the damn thing. And usually you come with all the party, but you can actually come back with your feet and Vincent and do this, but I choose to do it now. Get it over with. So let's see here. Oh, you also missed. Uh, that's what I was going to tell you about. You also missed in the last episode that we actually got to level up on our all for uh, Cloud here. Uh, as you can see, we're getting very far with everything here. With each battle I take on, that's gone up because I've been, you know, kind of using it on and off. Like I, like I said before, you got in order to even initiate them, get any XP, which is not what they tell you at all. They don't tell you that at all. You got to actually, in order for it to participate, you actually have to use it at least once or twice. It actually helps more the more you use it. Uh, you don't have to use it all the time. Which is if you're low on a MP, you want to conserve it. Like, if you're like at 100 instead of, uh, oops. That was kind of stupid. Yeah. See that? I mean, we got, we got bio. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I keep forgetting that it's, it's not... I don't mean to hit that. I'm, I apologize for that little display of action there. So yeah, be right back. And we're back again. I'm gonna go up these 
Oh, the lovely stairs, the rope ladders. I think it's because of the mic it's being messed with when I when I touch it with the keypad. I wish I I should move that over, but if I do that, it'd be hard to do the game. You hang in there. Oh, I will. I'll hang in there. Let's see what you got. Ooh, oh, 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 hell yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah. There we go. It'll always do me. So it's about nine. Nope, it's nine. Spinning sounds we're good with. Potions we're good with. Okay, so that's all that guy had. Hello, do your best, we will too. Okay, I think what the hell you got you. Yeah, just basic material. It's it's all crap to me. Sometimes when I play through it though, I do tend to uh, use a more re uh, restored rate of uh, party. So you know. I'm gonna try and get that cold right, but I'm probably have to just like edit it out. Just to get Vincent. Cause I gotta fight a boss in order to get a key in order to get him and all that junk. Alright. This material is the uh, Phoenix Summon, which I believe you can cheat and get it, but it's not with my Chico. It just has to come up the shit card shotgun. Thanks for accepting. Let me explain our strategy. Then we will climb the mountain looking for the reactor. We will leave a, a trap for them and hire soldiers to protect the area. Well, that's all. That is all. But this village does not have any money, even if we wanted to fight. Our hands are tied because we are broke. We hired one soldier. We would need 400 gil. If we, hired, if we hired, that's a lot of gil. So thank God I have a lot of gil. So there you go. So if you folks have the time, we'd like you to use your own money to hire soldiers for buy the trap, set it up, and the command you. Now why the hell would I do that? If you uh, if you are pressed for time, we'd like you to help us with the money. Give us the money. We can then hire the soldiers for the fun, with the funds and lock similar to tech. We know that we, what we're asking is selfish. We have sent our wives and children to another village. We are resigned to our fate. Let us get back to square one. If you intend to trick our shed, you'll have to fight immediately. Just because you lost once, it's not the end of the world. But if you lose repeatedly, it could be, it could be dangerous. Now then. Is there anything you wish to ask? Uh, I just asked my own attention. You can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the enemy commander in charge. If the enemy reaches the shed, they'll attack, and you'll have no choice but to go into battle immediately. Which would have been no problem because we're pretty tough. In the event that you lose during the direct contact, even if the enemy digs to the reactor, there's still a chance to save things. There's only a slight chance, and we have no way to help. No idea how much the reactor can endure in an attack. When we can't stand up to the attack any longer, the shimmer will take both the commandors and our lives, as well as all the material within the reactor. There's more map material that I didn't know about. Well, anyway. The enemy. Uh, there are four types of enemies. Weapons. Weapons are flying types that can move at a high speed. Stoner and tri stoner are effective against them. Okay. Beasts. Beasts are monsters. Amount. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beasts are monster types. I do not move quickly, but have explosive attacking guard. They do. I never saw that. Barbarians are human types. They attack indirectly, so you have got to be on your toes. Commanders. Commanders are the enemy commanders. They're the ones we want to subdue, but they are formidable foes. Ah, damn fly. Anything else? Now then, the soldiers which can be fired, hired. Fire. Your mo allies are fighters 
attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. Your immobile allies are stoner, trust stoner, catapult, and fire catapult. What do you want to hear about? Mobile types. What do you want to hear about? Fighters. Fighters are good at defending and attacking, but aren't especially effective or de decent for any enemy. Attackers. Why didn't it go down? I don't know. Attackers move extremely fast. Enemies for expanding the front line. They work good to get them beasts. But not enemy barbarians. Defenders have high endurance, but move slowly. They are best suited for defense. Defenders work best against enemy barbarians, but not enemy warbirds. Shooters. Shooters attack indirectly, but has low endurance. Shooters work best against enemy warbirds, but not enemy beasts. Repairers repair allied aircraft, but have little attacking power. I never understand what the point of having a repairer is for, unless you're just using it just to, like, you know, repair things. They don't even repair, so I don't... I think this time I'm not going to bother with that. Workers set torpedoes. Torpedoes have strong attacking power, but workers don't. Torpedoes explode when they're touched by the enemy. The explosions will damage everything in the immediate area. Anything else? Immobile types. Stoners. Stoners can fire a single boulder, causing extensive damage to every enemy it hits. Tri stoners. Tri stoners can fire the three boulders simultaneously, causing extensive damage to every enemy it hits. You can't use the tri stoner or fire catapult because they are still being developed. Okay. Catapults shoot rocks at great distance, causing extensive damage to every enemy it hits. Okay. Fire catapult. Fire catapults fire bombs at great BOMBs. Sorry, sorry, sorry. BOMB and bees. Fire BOMB bees. Okay, at great distance. Causing extensive damage to every enemy it hits. They can't use the tri stoner of fire catapult because they are still being developed. Yeah, well, anything. Anything else? Else. Okay. Other issues. First off, we must repair the troops. Move the cruiser wherever the mark does not appear. Then press the circle button to set up. After all, positions that are in place. Select by pressing X button to start the battle. Soldiers can only be arranged near the shed in the beginning. That's because if the soldiers are too far away, they won't be able to follow instructions. You can only put soldiers on the horizontal line at the very bottom. Soldiers can be instructed by pushing the select button, so if any commands are unclear, push it. Soldiers can report by pushing the circle button. The cruiser will move to the soldier who made the report. Press the X button, and you'll hear the report without removing. And you can bet Shunner will send platoons at you on a regular basis. It'd be great if you could spare the time to help us. But if you really don't have time, would you contribute some financial assistance? Okay, enough. Hey, this one's climbing up there. It's like that, but just right to please. Any help is appreciated. Uh, hear more. About funding. We have 15,000 gil right now. Speaking of which, this is where we will stop. This has been episode 40 of Fun of Fantasy 7. And I think we have gone on far too long. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to end it right here. And I'll catch you all in the next episode of 41. That's when we'll continue this and we'll hopefully get you fee continue on with the rest of the story. See you in a little bit. Ba da ding da dee da dee da 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 ding da bee bee da bee da bee da bee da bee da bee da bee.